what is going on guys i got another video for you today and today i have the steel series arcus pro wireless they just came in i'm gonna make a whole separate review video on these but i got to say this is the best gaming headset i have ever heard i just had the corsair virtuoso xt i mean in my opinion they sounded terrible i'll be honest with you for what you're paying to which is 270 dollars us i thought it was horrible at least compared to the a50s which is what i had before i didn't have these at that time to compare them with directly but i can tell you right now and i have a ton of experience with different headsets and different sound stages these sound way better than the astro a50s gen 4s as well as the corsair virtuoso xps um nonetheless though in this video today put these on real quick in this video today we're actually going to be trying out the eq settings that i have for this headset i've made a video for the astro a50s i'm sure if you're subscribed you probably subscribed from that video people seem to love it and i'm super grateful for that thank you so much for i think i'm at 170 subscribers now which is awesome um first things first just to knock it out you will need the steel series gg software i have a link to it in the description but odds are if you have this headset you already have it installed because it kind of gives you access to all the features um, within the software so let's open that up real quick and let's see so we go to engine arctic pro wireless Hey, I'm going to zoom this in so everyone can actually see these settings. Um, okay, this really isn't too important. All right, so you can see I have the built-in 7.1 surround sound disabled. I honestly just think virtually our virtual surround sounds in most cases sound horrible. Basically, it's just like a fake surround sound, if you will. Um, that they're trying to create and in the process they're drowning out all of the highs really pumping up the lows um even parts of the lows that i really i hate to hear in headphones like the the 250 to 750 hertz range i don't really like to hear that too much i think it just sounds dirty in most cases um but that's kind of that can go off into a whole tangent and audio file grade headphones that actually can handle those frequencies well um but basically this is the eq right here keep the surround sound built in the headset off copy these settings right here right here i got negative two on 100 hertz i got negative six on 300 hertz negative two on 900 hertz and plus four on 2500 hertz and then plus eight on 8,000 hertz. Now, I didn't adjust these because the headset sounded bad. Actually, it sounded probably the best out of the box that I've heard so far, but it's very, very, very flat. And the reason they do that is because they don't want to pump up the bass and then someone who doesn't like bass thinks the headphone sounds garbage. Or if someone really likes bass, but they pump up the eyes, then they're not going to like the headset out the box. So it's kind of just a safe place to keep it um, whenever you're first trying on the headset. So save those settings. And basically the next thing is going to be with Dolby Access. So I explained this in my previous video, but I am going to explain it again because people have trouble finding that. Go to your Microsoft store on your PC, assuming you're running Windows and you're quite literally just going to search up dolby access it's a free app it's free but you have to pay for the actual subscription uh one time payment so you download that it's it's 12 to 15 dollars i think for the actual subscription well worth it it stays on that one account that you have on that one device you wipe your computer and you reset it you sign back into that same account you're still going to have the subscription you just won't be able to do that on a different computer if you sign into that same account uh but this headset i think actually might come with it for free a free code 
Don't quote me on that. Um, all right. So last part will be the Dolby access. If I can find it. There we go. And I'm going to zoom this in as well. So it's a lot easier to see. Uh, all right. So you may actually recognize these settings. They're similar to my Astro A50 EQ, just a little bit different um, to accommodate for the drivers inside of here, which is 40, mil 40 millimeter uh, neodymium. So you could see right here on 32 Hertz, I have it set to zero decibels, 64 Hertz. I have it set to, I just call it negative six decibels, 125 Hertz, negative six, 250 hertz negative six 500 hertz negative six and then one kilohertz i'm going to call that negative one or two two kilohertz uh zero decibels four kilohertz plus three decibels eight kilohertz plus eight decibels and then 16 kilohertz i have i'm going to call that plus nine or ten so, and I have surround virtualizer on because unlike other virtual surround sounds that are artificial, this one actually does not really affect the sounds. Well, it does affect the sound stage of the headset, but it doesn't actually affect the, the spectrum of frequency uh, that comes through these drivers. So your lows, mids, and highs, they all stay about the same uh, or whatever you set them to. So turn that on. That can kind of help you hear footsteps and just to finish this off a lot of people ask can you use this for warzone can you use this for call of duty uh what do you use this for i use this for everything i use this for watching youtube videos music gaming uh like story mode games first person shooter games i use it for all of that um people also ask in the call of duty settings you can turn on like home theater setting bass boost treble boost Honestly, if you're going to turn something on for this headset specifically, I would just leave it off entirely. I think it's just going to end up emphasizing a certain frequency range too much. And that's going to kind of mess with how this already sounds. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this helped. Like I said, I love this headset so much. Only thing that I don't like really is just the comfort, but I got ear cups coming in for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Have a wonderful day. I will catch you in the next one.